Alfredo and garlic bread go together like Bonnie and Clyde. So let's make some. Y'all, we're gonna start out making our garlic bread and I like to cut slits into a French loaf. Don't cut it all the way through. After you've cut those slits, now you can start prepping all of the ingredients that will go into your garlic butter. You're gonna mince your garlic cloves. Go ahead and mince enough for your Alfredo sauce too. Then you're gonna chop your parsley and then we're gonna get your butter and add it all together. Now that you've got all of your ingredients mise en place, save some of your garlic to go in your sauce, save some of your parsley for garnish, add some sea salt in, and now mix all of that together. You can use a hand mixer or you can use a stand mixer with the paddle or the whisk attachment. Now that butter is ready to be smeared, in between each of the slits you made on your French loaf. Make sure that you get a nice even coverage in between each piece and now slather about a tablespoon on top of the loaf. Cover it with foil and put it in the oven. Let's move over to our noodles. We want to get those started before we get our sauce started. Get your water to a boil, heavily salt it, get my dried noodles and toss them in and I want to cook them according to the package I always cooked al dente it means literally to the tooth and this is because I want the noodles to still cook a little bit in the sauce and soak up the flavor of the sauce so be sure not to overcook them and let them become gummy and mushy you want them al dente they'll still be a little bit firm and they will be amazing once they soak up the alfredo Okay, moving back over to our sauce. We are ready because our garlic is mise en place. Let's go into the pan with our butter. I like to use unsalted butter because we want to control all of the seasonings in our dish. Once that butter is totally melted, you're gonna have your garlic ready to go right down into the pan. Now the other ingredients that go into the sauce after your garlic is going to be your cream cheese, going to be your cream, your Italian seasoning, and pepper. Crushed red pepper is optional. I like it as a little bit of a kick, but you don't have to have it. All your butter is melted, go right down into the pan with that minced garlic. You're not looking for any color here on the garlic, you are just giving it a nice saute until it's tender and until you can really smell the nuttiness of the garlic. Don't let it burn. Once it burns, there's no coming back. You really have to start the whole process over. So again, don't let it burn. Toss the garlic around in the butter and while it's sauteing, go ahead and check on your noodles. Okay, the noodles are boiling. This is awesome. Now I'm ready for cream cheese into my garlic and butter. Put your cream cheese in and in small circular motions all over the pan, just start whisking. Don't try and get the whole surface area of the pan in one whisking motion. Just do little small circles all around the pan and you'll evenly incorporate. 
get your cream ready because you're gonna slowly stream in cream as you're making those small little circular whisking motions. You wanna use a whisk here. The whisk is gonna make sure you get an even incorporation and it's also gonna help to incorporate air into your sauce, making it more fluffy and more creamy. Season with Italian seasoning and pepper and whisk to make sure that everything's incorporated. Sometimes I also like to grab my silicone spatula and just make sure I've gotten all the corners and sides of the pan. Let this come to a boil and thicken, and it should be time to drain your noodles in the colander. Let's go check them out. Okay, your noodles are great. We're gonna let those drain. Don't rinse them, just drain them. Our sauce is thickening. So now it's time to add in our Parmesan cheese. I'm using a grated Parmesan cheese, but if you all you have is shredded, you can use that too. Toss in your grated Parmesan cheese and keep on with the small whisking motions all around your saucepan. Whisk it all together. You wanna to go ahead and taste your sauce right now. Make sure that it has enough cracked pepper. Make sure that it has enough red pepper if you're using it. And as long as you like the taste and the flavor of the sauce, go ahead and grab your noodles because now it's time to add those in. I like to toss my noodles in, make sure that every single one gets coated and I let them soak up all the sauce from the pan. It helps them to cook just a little bit longer and it makes sure that there's flavor inside of the noodle, every single nook and cranny. Toss those together and let's get your bread out of the oven. unwrap your bread from the foil, get your pasta in a bowl, garnish it with parsley and parmesan, cut off as many pieces of bread as you like, and bon appetit! <laughs>